Hello everyone, you are watching The Culver City Beat. I'm Juliette Lamar. This week, utility scams are on the rise and we will tell you what to watch out for. And our hundreds of city jobs are set to be cut due to LA's budget deficit. So stay tuned. But first I wanna tell you all about our sponsor, Hypothermia Cancer Institute it is the best cancer treatment that you have never heard of. Go ahead and click below for more info. Our top story today, an LA County judge this week issued a ruling that stated lawmakers acted arbitrarily and failed to perform the required risk benefit analysis when it banned outdoor dining. We have the full story right here. I'll be right back with today's local news after this. And now for what's happening in your neighborhood. Utility scammers are at it again, but don't panic. We don't want you to get fooled. So here is what is happening. The phone scam is starting off by saying that you have an overdue bill. The scammer then claims to be from Edison, Department of Water Power, etc. One of the numbers used so far that they've notified is 8 Four four three five zero six three three one. The caller will try and convince you that your payments are delinquent and that they'll threaten to turn off your service. They mean they might even tell you they have someone on the way right now to show off your service. Okay, all this is not true. Utility companies will never call you and demand payment. So when in doubt, go ahead and hang up the phone and call your utility company directly. Additionally, if you wish to report the scammer, you can call the number below right here, or you can visit the website ftc.gov slash complaint. The city of LA is facing a major budget deficit of around $675 million. The city has borrowed $150 million, furloughed employees, and almost drained the city's revenue budget. And in an ongoing attempt to cut costs, on Tuesday, LA City Council took the first steps towards reviewing 843 jobs for potential layoffs within city agencies. Three-fourths of these potential layoffs would affect positions within the Los Angeles Police Department. The package of budget balancing measures passed with a 13-2 vote. This package de decreased the number of LAPD layoffs from 1,679 to 628. Councilman Joe Bashano and John Lee voted against the proposal, saying that they do not want any LAP jobs to be contemplated for layoffs. Job cuts could be avoided if the department heads can find new ways to cut expenses. According to budget officials, the new target date is May 22nd for these layoffs. That's all the news that we have for you today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm Juliet Lamar, and you take care.